Can you play so what? So what? Yeah, you humming to me out there. Somebody's having fun in the Transformer. Right across the street from world famous juniors. As long as we're out here on Flatbush, we're gonna visit an exhibition by an artist named William Graff. The theme of this show is titled Tread, and I think it has to do with the highways and byways of America. This is like his version of a tire tread. Let's get down and look at it just a little closer. The little treads are actually three-dimensional versions of state postcards. So let's see, we've got Ohio, New York, You might see something like this laying on the side of a highway somewhere. Well, this is an interesting piece here. We've got a, uh, looks like a removable seat from the back of a minivan. And what Bill has done is he's uh, stenciled on a bunch of these uh, air freshener shapes of the pine trees. It's kind of a uh, pleasant fabric design. Well, and around the edge, he's got his little state decals. We got the Grand Canyon State, Arkansas, Delaware, Florida, Georgia. Oh, there's my favorite, Idaho, the trout. Bill is quite a collector, I have to say that. Kansas, Kentucky. Louisiana, Maine, well, you get the picture. Now we're talking with the artist, William Bill Graff. <laughs> Why don't you tell us a little bit about your show and uh, some of the ideas that uh, you were playing with? Uh, a lot of this work started quite a while ago, early 90s. And I consider it landscape. Um, the piece I'm sitting on now is upholstered with a painting that I did 10 years ago. It was a series of paintings using the air freshener and the uh, pine tree shaped air freshener as a template. Yes. For these treescape paintings. It was the last piece I decided to put into this particular show because I was trying to figure out a way to work it into this space because this space is not well suited for paintings. So you basically took a painting and c converted it into uh, upholstery and then put it on this uh, bench seat. Now tell me about um, your feelings and your, your relationships with nostalgia. A lot of this is dealing with things from the 50s, 60s, 70s and sort of the back roads of America. What, what is your feeling about that? Uh, as an artist, I think I'm not alone. I think a lot of artists tend to collect things. I have a lot of yes. stuff that I've collected since. Do I've, you catalog it? And uh... I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, for instance, the decals on the windows. Yeah, the I was travel, looking at those the travel water decals. Yes. I had a collection of them, as I did Matchbox cars, but not nearly enough to do this show. So most of the stuff was bought on eBay an extension of my collection of stuff that I've seen since I was a child. Um, the Traffic Globe, entitled Getting There is Half the Fun, is a five-year-old piece. It was an idea that stemmed from the cloverleaf, an aerial view of a cloverleaf highway always intrigued me as a pattern. And it popped into my head to turn it into a three-dimensional helix. Do you consider yourself a conceptual artist? I do. Now, as you know, the beginnings of conceptual art it was basically about text and, and doing away with the object. 
uh, where do you see the conceptual art sort of coming back and, and presenting objects? How, does the, how did that happen with conceptual art? Uh, conceptual art can be absolutely anything. It could be pure sound. So we're here with uh, Bill Graff at his exhibition, Tread. Okay, well, we're glad you finally got a chance to show all this stuff. Thank you. I'm <laughs> very happy. <laughs> this is the I artist. Move on now. William Graff, thanks. Thank you, Lauren. So this is James Com no. reporting on Bill Graff's no. Tread here at Long Island University. Welcome back, viewers. This is James Com down the bike. And we're coming to you from East 6th Street, deep in the heart of the East Village. I'm gonna go and pop in for a second at what used to be the old studio of Rick Prohl. Now, Gary Indiana called it a scuzzy moment, but there was a period of about two or three years, back from about 1983 to 1985, that uh, the East Village was the center of the the art world and it was a pretty wild scene wacky dirty scuzzy in a lot of ways it was a total reaction against what was happening in Soho and a lot of it was centered right around here within a couple of blocks let's go see what Rick is up to okay well this is love shine Let's take a quick look at some of Rick's recent paintings here. I like this, this is Devil Cat Girl. Oh man, here's the artist. Hey, congratulations, Rick. You're back in the neighborhood after... You started here about 30 years ago, or is that That's too right. long ago? 25, and then you, 25, 26, 27 years. And back. then you moved out of the studio. What about five years ago? Yeah, probably. So now you're back, back uh, in the saddle. What do you think the um, the long term impact of the East Village art scene was? You were somebody that's really involved in it. Well, I think it was significant. It just got bad mouthed too much after it's. Uh, so people don't know yet, maybe it's full impact or... Do you think people are sort of uh, becoming aware of it now and maybe it's starting to influence Hopefully. another generation of kids? I, I hope. I mean, there was an amazing amount of energy there. And so much going on. A lot of great art came out of it. I mean, And you had a good a time. Doubt. We all had a good time. Uh, well, the, the ones that survived. Yeah, it was great. It was really, really, truly great. And also because the influx of all the European artists and everything. Tell me about this painting here. What's this one titled? It's, um... Breakout. That's the title of the show, right? It's Breakout. I was also wondering about this character, the kind of the... The cat-headed guy. Cat-headed skeleton. I don't know. Is that a self-portrait? Something like that. Actually, I mean, let me take all? a look at those ears. <laughs> That's, that's supposed to be my girlfriend in Venice, which is totally ludicrous. It doesn't, titles and stuff like it doesn't necessarily make any logical sense. Or, well, let me just say, welcome back to the East Village again. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Is this too close? No, man, it's never too close. <laughs> Boy, if this is a portrait of Rick's girlfriend, I hope she isn't too sensitive. Grey Dada. That one looks like it's about 10 by 12 inches. Well, I don't know, I hate to sound nostalgic, but uh, it does take me back about 25 years. Oh, there's Lori Teschler. Another East Village star. There's a little run through of Rick Prohl's breakout down here on at Love Shine on East 6th Street, which used to be Rick's old studio. Really nice show. 
right in the heart of the East Village. Thanks, Kate. Great show. Thank you.